The stock market plays a number of roles, including that of a voting machine, especially in the short term when people are trying to assess whether a company's plans will actually pay off. This year, we've seen that storyline playing out with Apple as one of the most valuable companies in the world. I'm not sure there are many people worried about Apple's ability to make money for years to come, but the tech giant is seen as being at a crossroads of sorts. Apple's iPhone business and the services empire it has built around its hardware keep the cash coming in. But in a world that constantly pushes towards the next big thing, Apple has at times seemed less innovative in the post-Steve Jobs years. Recent moves have left the Apple faithful wondering, would Steve have done it this way? I'm talking about the recent launch of the Vision Pro, which is a cool glimpse into our possible VR and AR future, but the hardware offering is not as sleek as some might have expected from the Cupertino, California company. And then there was the high-profile decision to give up on its car plans after investing huge amounts of time and money in that possibility. Instead, the great new opportunity became AI. Obviously, artificial intelligence possibilities, the promise of generative AI, these have captured the attention of investors this year. Uh, Apple has invested in AI over the years, but with the uh, success that NVIDIA and Microsoft are having in the eyes of the markets at a time when Apple is navigating a possible cool-down in iPhone demand, that has resulted in Apple stock underperforming some of its tech rivals so far this year. So that brings us to a story this week, a Bloomberg scoop about Apple's plans to work AI into some of its key products. Bloomberg reporter Mark Gurman reporting that Apple is aiming to boost sluggish computer sales by overhauling its entire Mac lineup with a new family of in-house processors. Those chips are designed to highlight artificial intelligence. It's an early glimpse into how the company might be able to carve out its own unique part of the market story around AI, but like everything, we'll need some time to see how it plays out. Now, the analyst team at Bloomberg, known as Bloomberg Intelligence, reacted to this report by saying it might give Apple's Mac segment a modest boost near, uh, in, in the year ahead, but it likely won't offset near-term weakness for the iPhone in markets like China. And remember, the Mac unit makes up roughly 8% of Apple's total revenue, and so even a 10% lift, while that could be upwards of $3 billion, which seems like a big number, it is, but, but when you've got an iPhone revenue base of more than $200 billion, uh, that is um, just a small piece of the Apple empire. So at the end of the day, the broader hope for Apple investors here seems to be that AI will be a catalyst across the business that would be a reacceleration on growth.